Uh, I'm Jesse Barnett. I've been an Easton resident for about 20 years now, uh, and I'm very excited to have uh, some of my photography being shown at the Art Co-op Gallery here in town. Uh, these particular photos are uh, specifically concert photography. Uh, I've been working in the, the music industry since uh, 1994, and, uh, and I started photography in 2012, but have been going to conferences for, uh, for my business for a number of years and ended up bringing my camera with me a few times and started shooting some of the shows. And it just sort of became a natural thing to continue doing that as I go to concerts. Uh, so a number of these are uh, from uh, conferences that I've, that I've been at for, for work, and then the rest are artists that uh, I've seen uh, locally here, either in Boston or in the case of the Lone Bellow here during the pandemic on Cape Cod at a drive-in. Uh, I got into photography uh, about a dozen years ago. I've been working from home for over 20 years. Uh, and after realizing just I, it was stressful and I was never leaving the house, uh, I decided to, that I needed a hobby that would specifically get me out of the house. Uh, that would make me leave and and go outside, uh, and that was we, I just started photography as a as a way to to leave the house and not think about work. And then of course I ended up making it part of my work. <laughs> Mostly I've been self taught, um, but I've taken a couple different classes. I took one class on uh, uh, portrait lighting. Uh, I've taken uh, another class uh, on, uh, from Eric Lothrop on uh, the architecture of, of Easton. Uh, and then, um, the, but the rest of it has been self-taught and a lot of it is advice from friends. You know, with the concert photography, it was, you know, when I had a, a friend who was into photography at the very beginning, he said, well, you should try this lens and for this and try going here. And then, then from, from my father, who was an art director in advertising, he taught me about cropping and and really getting a personal style and you know and getting closer in an artist as opposed to more of a wide shot so a lot of the creativity came from advice from friends but the the technical aspects were mostly self-taught uh, with artists that you know I've seen before you kind of can tell you know when they're going to be doing certain things uh, you you can you know that you know, Grace Potter is going to be kicking up her leg at some point and rocking out and her hair is going to go flying and she's great for that. I've shot Charlie Crockett before and I know he tends to look down and does a thing with the side with a guitar. Uh, some of the things though, like are just caught in the moment. Uh, you know, I have a, a shot here of Sugar Ray Rayford. Uh, that was the, the particular photo. I love it. It's just got this drip of sweat going down his head, but that was taken right before he started his set and he was just on stage checking sound and waiting to begin and it just happened to capture the moment and I just thought liked the shot afterwards. So it's it's a lot of knowing, uh, you know, an idea of what to look for, uh, but then just being ready to just capture something uh, that you, you wouldn't, didn't expect. I would say it's, uh, you know, refer to it as shoe money. Uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, the, the phrase in my house is the hobby funds the hobby. Uh, anything that I sell, I feel free to use that money on buying new equipment and new things. You know, I do, like I said, I do uh, portraits as well. And so that I never feel guilty about spending the money to upgrade my, you know, my camera stuff and my lighting stuff if that's money I'm making from doing that. But my regular job is what pays the regular bills. <laughs> Yeah, I do uh, a lot of uh, landscape stuff. Um, I do portraits. I do, uh, I, I'm the de facto photographer for a theater company that's, uh, uh, that my wife is a, a part of. Um, and also I've been doing, I have a regular series uh, that I've been working on of what I call beach blurs, which are uh, different Cape Cod beaches, but shot uh, while panning the camera. So it looks, it's, it's blurred in motion uh, and it's, a, it's a just a different way to look at Cape Cod beaches. And I've been got, I got an ongoing series of those. This collection just went up a couple of weeks ago and it's going to be up as far as I know till the end of March. Uh, and you know, we'll see wh where it goes from there, but I've been offered the space for the, for the months of February and March. Best way, uh, I have uh, QR codes uh, up on the thing here, but uh, Instagram is a, is a great way to reach out at first, uh, Jesse Barnett, uh, and, uh, and look forward to, to being in touch with people.